you're going to learn more about the shield glasses than you ever thought possible. Getting this info hasn't been entirely easy. I already made a video about my trip to CES to go visit the View6 booth and touch, hold, feel, and wear the shield glasses when they were demoing it. But I didn't get to ask the questions that I wanted to of Paul or anybody else there at View6. They were just too busy. So the video I ended up making didn't have a lot of information and some of the information it did have was, was wrong. So I took it down. And what I did is I emailed the friend I have in marketing a list of questions. I mean a lot of questions. And he passed it on to the engineers and they did the best they could to answer all the questions. So I'm gonna share those answers with you now. Another thing that bugged me about that video is I was holding a pair of blade glasses while I talked about the features of the shield. Now, these are two totally different glasses. Even though the answers I got, they, they kept saying that they basically took the best features of a lot of these other glasses and mixed them into the shield. That means to make our own pair of shield glasses, we'll take the ANSI Z87.1 safety ratings of the blades, people wear them, and we'll add the voice control of the M400s and the M4000s that will let it understand English, Spanish, German, French, Japanese, Cantonese, and Mandarin uh, for the voice control features, which is nice. And for the M4000 and the M400, it'll take the ever-present hot swappable batteries so that you'll never have an interruption in your work and you can go as long as you have the batteries present, just pop them out, hot swap them. And then I guess the only thing to do is mash them up and uh, try to create the shields. That did not work at all. And you know why it didn't work? Because even though they did take all the good stuff of the previous glasses and put it in the shield, what none of the previous glasses in the View 6 family had are what these have. Yeah, I begged. What these have are dual stereoscopic displays and micro LEDs, two waveguides, one in each eye, and they line up perfectly to make it look like the image is floating out in front of you. And these LED projectors put out so much light, perfect obviously for low light situations, but even better in regular daylight and even bright light, the beautiful image can still be seen because it's putting out so much light. Let's get right to the price, $1,999, and they'll be shipping in the second quarter of this year. Remember, they're primarily going to be work glasses, not someone's personal glasses. However, I think this is a brilliant way to get smart glasses into people's hands because they're going to be helping them with their job all day. Information's gonna be coming up. They're gonna be using the cameras for remote maintenance and remote repair. They're gonna be using the hand gestures and touch pads, and they're gonna be using the voice control to get all the information that they need to do their job. And the lightweight form factor and the comfortability, I don't think people are gonna to wanna to take these off until they go to bed. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna creep the, the, the work function into personal life. You're driving home, you get a message saying, hey, stop at the store, get whatever you get for your wife or significant other. And when you're in the store, you can't find it, stream the 4K stream to her, she says it's right in front of your face because it's always right in front of your face. You grab it, these little things that make your life easier are how they're gonna transform from a work tool to a personal tool and to an everyday tool until, you know, I have no doubt this is the way that we're going to be getting all the information uh, coming to us very soon. And this is a giant step that's gonna make that happen. So, well, let's talk about the cameras. Two cameras, the camera stream 4K at 30 frames per second. And then if you need a little bit more frame rate, they stream 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, it is a MP4 with an H.264 codec and, a, and an ACC audio codec. So these are all very industry standard files that you can use if you need to record something, stream something, or do anything like that. Now, there is a red light 
that's going to come on over each camera, depending on which one you're using. Because it's a work camera, I don't think the privacy issue is going to be that big of a deal as it's been on other personal glasses because you need them for remote maintenance, for remote repair, for pictures, for work and um, collaboration. So I think it's a really smart way to kind of introduce this feature. Why two cameras? Well, eventually you're going to be able to make 3D immersive videos that will be pretty amazing. But in the near term, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to have one streaming the 4K video to whoever needs to see it, and the other one can be looking at your hands to interpret your hand gestures, which is cool because it has a Qualcomm XR1 eight core processor chip, a GPU, and a neural chip to do onboard AI processing. And so this thing is going to be able to handle any industry app that is thrown its way for sure. So it's a good time to talk about hardware. I mentioned the chipset. It also has internal 64 gigs of, of memory that you can always offload things to Dropbox and OneDrive because obviously it will be connected to the internet. It's gonna have a 1,045 milliamp hour battery, which is going to be hot swappable with the USB-C drive for an external battery as well. So you could potentially run all day without losing any of your work or any interruption because of the hot swappable capabilities. So the internal battery should last between two and five hours, depending on how hard you're pushing the glasses during the day. Noise canceling microphones and over the ear speakers so that you can hear and be heard in very loud and challenging work environments. There is no eye tracking on these because the hardware to do eye tracking is too big for a form factor that's as sleek as this. However, you can do head tracking with the onboard sensors, the accelerometers, magnometers, the GPS and gyroscopes so you can get a, a really good accurate head tracking. No sunglasses attachments or tints because the uh, displays are so bright you can see it in normal or even bright light. Prescription inserts will be available. The software, the OS is Android 10 and the apps are built on Android and other software like Unity and Vuforia. So the UX is something that I'm really interested in in that it's going to of course have the voice controls that we talked about, the standard touchpad, but it's also gonna use the cameras to bring in the 3D capabilities that they have to help control some of the things on the UX. What that is, I don't exactly know, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And for some smaller things that you may not know is standard working temperature is rated from zero to 45 degrees Celsius, but they say it should work all the way down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. They're gonna start with a standard color, I think probably this darker color, uh, because they're going to be in work glasses, but they know there's a potential for a wide variety of colors once they kind of get established in the marketplace. So, so stay tuned for those colors. They're very durable. Like I said, they're ANSI rated for the safety glasses and they're made for a pretty rugged uh, work environment. But if they do break, there's also a standard one year warranty. And just like the blade, came in this soft-sided case. They're gonna come in a similar soft-sided case like this. These are demonstration units that I got, so I can't show you any of the screens or anything like that, but I hope to do a day in the life with some real v Six Shields very soon. So I hope that this video helped you learn a little bit more about the v Six Shield glasses and if you like this type of things, go ahead and check out some of the other videos I've done on smart glasses and subscribe if you want. You can get a peek at some of the new stuff every once in a while. Thank you.